So we're about to jump backwards in the Assassin's Creed timeline right now. Once again, with Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, I did a Let's Play walkthrough of another remaster last year, Assassin's Creed Rogue, which for all intents and purposes was a good game by itself. But I think most of us can agree that Assassin's Creed 3 was a far superior game. And it was actually the first game after the end of the Ezio story arc in Assassin's Creed Revelations and kind of got this got the the juices going back into the franchise once again probably the biggest knock on it is that the storyline takes a while to get into it's fairly slow at the beginning but once you get into it, it it really grabs hold of you so yeah this is going to be a full let's play walkthrough of the entire thing start to finish so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it my name is nick as always you guys can call me tetra ninja and yeah i'm gonna have a ton of fun be playing this game on pc at a high frame rate, good, good graphics, all that good stuff. The review copy of this game was provided by our nice friends over at Ubisoft. So yeah, let's jump right into it. I actually redeemed everything. Everything all the club points can offer. So we're going to have some gear and some skins and some ships and stuff that you will wouldn't normally get at the beginning of the game. And if you guys want, let me know if we can play the Tyranny of King Washington afterwards. But yeah, let's start a new game, boys and girls. All right, this is the end of the Desmond storyline, too. Ooh, we, we actually have some meaningful modern day cutscenes as well, which is fantastic. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Man, that was so hype. 
That's like a ton of story right there. Now we just chilling in the car. We're here. Let's go. The environment looks much better than I remembered it. Facial animations and overall faces. <laughs> so, could use a little work. It's a, it could use a little work, but it's all right. How, how often do you stare deeply into Desmond's eyes, anyways? That's the nice thing of only playing this game once since so long ago. I don't remember any of this right now. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. These glitches, these visual glitches keep throwing me off for a loop. I literally think that the game's about to crash. <laughs> Oh, we got old school parkouring. This is probably the last Assassin's Creed game where the modern world story was actually somewhat significant <laughs> and memorable. You must find the key. Son? Sir? <sighs> Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. 
What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. Guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. I said walk, not run. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Easy, so easy. Gotta shimmy around. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. I got it, I got it. Probably. If I were to, it's not really a complaint, more as an observation. That after, I think I said this when I played the. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Oh, yeah, they still had the, um, the objective. All you have to do here is jump the gap. I think this was probably the last game where they had the objectives. I can't remember. They actually might have had the Black Flag as well. Man, Black Flag was a good game too. What a fantastic game Black Flag was. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Ooh. So yeah, like I was saying, probably the biggest... It wasn't an issue because it was a good recreation of the world. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes, fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Ubisoft always does a fantastic job of recreating the worlds and making thing, everything historically accurate. But we had just gone through the Renaissance period with in Italy, these very iconic buildings, the Colosseum, all that good stuff. And then we kind of jump into colonial America, and it's kind of just kind of like bland. You know what I mean? It just it doesn't have the, it doesn't have that wow factor in terms of scenery. But yeah, it was just one thing that I observed. But anyways, deadly performance. Let's jump right into it. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? I got Ladies here. and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. 
If anything though, it's a good update to the series because when I originally uploaded this, it was in like 720p at like 30 frames per second, which I actually went back to rewatch and... Good evening, sir. This way, please. Honestly, it looks god-awful. Just terrible. My apologies. Fourteen forty P at max settings at sixty frames. Take it every day of the week. New textures as well. Evening, Haytham. Reginald. I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. A lawyer is an honest employment. So is mine. I already have. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity. Both against rogues and for them. For it is but fitting that we should protect and encourage cheats, since we live by them. So, Black Mall that sent word of trial comes on in the afternoon. Spoilers. A thousand pardons. So uh, my apologies. So sorry. Papa Edward Kenway. Time to climb. This is death without reprieve. I, I find it hard to believe that no one <laughs> would see this. Especially if these people with little fingers going across, but that's okay. Jesus, these two just going at it. I guess opera seats were the Corvettes of, of yesteryear in terms of where he got action. I love to let women A good sportsman always lets the end of the bar through this flight because the free the game depends on. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There's nothing to be got by the death of women. Deadly performance indeed. Oh, right. I remember lock picking used to be. It was a thing. Dutch courage. Jeremy's really burning up the boards tonight. He's a marvel. should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I.
Escape room before the screen. Come, please. Over there. That's the one that Exercise there. chill. See, they have killed in the upper balcony. Oh, my. I, I've done no wrong. I swear. Search him. Any weapons? I beg your pardon. Did they I'm find the machine? Please, 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 please. Let us through. Please, 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 it happened we right must leave at that once. What are those There's men doing about? I'm staying where it's safe. Peace, Boom. friends, there is no danger. Boom. Imbecile. Hey. I feel like we kind of stick out like a sore thumb. Our clothes are way too where fancy. Where are you going? Where's my hat? And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. That full sink. Wait for the plot twist. Wait for it. Oh, the sea shanties. I excite. This was the first game that introduced naval combat. We stop still using it to this day. <laughs> Some fresh air might do me good. This 
the one thing about Ubisoft. Once they invest money into a certain mechanic, either boats or Eagle Vision or Bird Flight, you know that they will use it as much as they possibly can. They get their money's worth. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though no, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Challenge me to fist the cuffs, do you? Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fans, call this off. If the captain sees the us. The hell with the captain. And the hell with you, Mills. Who side you on anyway? Ah, oh, the counter We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. My Taijutsu is strong. Do you yield? Never! <laughs> wow, the stupid foot. Oh, it pulls As you like shit. these arms. Oh. oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. I guess that makes sense. Oh, disarm. What's the meaning of this? Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These fought. We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Damn, Hathen's such a man's man. Good day. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. Time to snoop. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. 
It's not You're not right. having second you thoughts, feast are you? Lamb and wine. Well, now we well, must be done, but... Fish and biscuit. But what? One of a wife and two daughters. What if it goes wrong? You there! I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Take his hat off. Keeps his quiet. Here he comes. Make like you're working. A doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the passengers. You sound just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me... James... Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Time to look for clues. Ding dong. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. The room! But why? He's a shifty fella. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on them and wine. It's rare stuff with tinned fish and mm. biscuits. Curious. Hmm. Most curious. Five days later. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! 
Make ready to fight! I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the Opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? I just signed his death note. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. <laughs> How so quickly the weather changed on us. We need those ropes secured! I told you this was bad. Calm yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. Where did you learn knots? Your daddy. What are you guys doing this entire time? Dudes. 
Oh, what was that? Oh my god, day 72. <laughs> Two months across the ocean. These guys look like a defeated bunch. Probably got that scurvy. Eating Legos. Ooh, seagulls means we're near land. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Seagulls only stay by land. They only go to sea to die. Simpsons taught me that one. I needed more club points. <laughs> Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to Bloody say, hell. but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! Not my job. Not my job. The red coats are coming. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. 
Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Find me a general store. I think we need to go buy guns. If memory serves correct. Can't be running around with empty holsters now. Damn Spriggs. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. And though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but you seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Those flying pages. All about the Benjis. Good to see you, my friend. I don't understand why we didn't come with the sword pistol. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well. But he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Good old Boston. Boston's a great town. I used to go every year when I used to go to PAX East. I haven't gone to PAX East in a long time. Found that it was just a, <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of beveraging and with very little work. <laughs> so, that's okay too. Not judging, but you lying. Cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? 
We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Uh. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. And who said Shiver was dead? This way! I think that's some of the DLC weapons that I unlocked using my club points. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Going to loosen some tongues. Oh, smoke bombs. Smoke bombs OP. I feel like a god when you use a smoke bomb in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. We don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout. Take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We we'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Kill mercenaries using firearms. Okay. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, trying to kill 10 of these guys. I think the best thing to do is just stay next to this weapon rack. You two, clear off. Go on now, before you make us mad. Okay, here we go. Just gonna stick to this weapon rack and grab guns and shoot. Baby, grab another one. Another one. Friendly.
Four more. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. <laughs> on with the show then. Gotta kill four more guys with a gun. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. Treasure. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Oh, come on. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Loot. Shame, so Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Got three more guys. Careful, gents. We've company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rabble. Come on. Weapons. Wait, them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Ah, why is you always got to go and spoil the spoil? One more. One more enemy, please. There's got to be someone around here. For an ambush. Come on, boys, jump out of the, the corn. I need one more shot. Just one. Yee. There you go. All right, swords. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. Now we're gonna get fancy. Fancy with the hidden blades. Oh my god. 
God. Killing spree. Dang. You're so alive. Snipers. Snipers. Don't get shot, boys. Serpentine. Serpentine. Oh. Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! Whoa. Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Always 100% boys. <laughs> Wanna roll the bones? Roll some dice? Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Stereo! Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> I oh. have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Guy's going for the straight motorboat with those things. He ain't shy. I know that much. Okay. Go drop by the general store, pick up my upgraded weapons as well when I get a chance. Seems like we're not the early ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. 
I'll show you how. business to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Hostilities increase in the frontier. I know, as both I know. French and British forces attempt to draw Indian allies to their side. Glenn. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. The Boston Truly Country a shameful Church. display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. First synchronization of the game, boys! First of many. Yo, the first synchronization of any new Assassin's Creed game is always... It's always fun. It kind of puts you in the mood. Like, yeah, we're playing an Assassin's Creed game. So, there's no Assassin's Creed plan for this year. Most likely they're doing an every other year plan, which is fine. I, as long as the final product is a good one, they can take as much time as they need. So we got more DLC from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and we have a remake to kind of wet our whistles for Assassin's Creed, which is good. Assassin's Creed Odyssey was such a good game. So good, it was actually the very first Assassin's Creed game to ever be nominated for a Game of the Year award. Which is actually kind of crazy when you think <laughs> the, the amount of Assassin's Creed games there were. Get out of here, Eagle. This is my perch. Damn, that core strength and balance. Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Aim for the haystack. Oh wait, no, 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 we don't need to do that. Shortcut. I've asked the criers, but they all plead ignorance. Fuck of that. They're lying. Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and pull him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Eavesdrop on... Roman guards... More conversations... There are the guards. Oh, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. 
From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> Good call, that. Another sink point. Kind of in a mission right now, so let us chill. I asked if I could help, and they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though, so I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time. Just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Go, Charles. Gotta go to the waterfront. Into the red zone. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Should I just kill everyone? We'll be okay. Wait there. Come on. Can't get too far away from him. Easy does it now. Please don't fall in the water. I don't think they'll see me from up here. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, come on. Locked. Hmm. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Gonna grab the guy over here to remain undetected. Where you gonna go, man? He almost got me. Oh, there's another guy there. Lame. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. 
Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gauche. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe... I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, no. Hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> a little bit from here, a little bit from there. Make yourself a nice keepsake, I will. You're absolutely mad. Just like all good artists. You're a ruffian. Commoner's dirt. I'm proud of it. Your parents must be so very proud to have raised a specimen Sir, no. like yourself. Wow. Quiet now. I need to concentrate on my work. Hold still a minute. Oh, to start. Maybe you'll get lucky and pass out. Though I dare say I'll do my best to ensure that. Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Pretty sure it gave me a hundred percent. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. The soldier. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Pit Karn. Look, <laughs> we are surrounded, aren't we? Look at all those red icons down there. One false move. Instant death. Pitcairn, you fool! Your acts are treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. 
Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Limit detection time by 15 seconds. Word arrives from France that the Baron de Montesquieu is guide. Perhaps down Marlborough? No. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Damn, wasted three seconds. Gotta stay close to obstacles and walls. We blended. We blended. Pretty much just do what Charles does, I think. Charles will not guide us wrong. Ooh. You the man, Charles. You the man. Now! You're a natural, Charles. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Boy on you and your false war! <laughs> he threw it after him! Bird at it. <laughs> Gonna bust out that reflex shot though. Unhand him, Edward. Ah, uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Oh, you're the guy calling reinforcements. Come here. No, 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 no. Forgotten. 
You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on, then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. Some what is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Ballad of a Dead Soldier. Nice. What? The oh, you're lucky. I hear a piece of paper. I'll get it. I'll get it. Might have approached it from the wrong way. Yeah. With these floating pieces of paper, you have to choose the right angle and right direction to get them at. Which I... Uh-oh. Oof. Which I definitely did not do, but that's okay. Do we want to get our gambler on? Roll the dice with some craps. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. <laughs> We enter Silas' fort, under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. Longest reload of life. I feel like I just want to go down there. You finished the reload? Dear God. in the butt. Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. With the Mohawk tribe. 
Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you are given your own escort. Sir, we have enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Well, those small pox blankets and everything. <laughs> I wouldn't trust you either. Okay, no detection. Identify yourself. Where is Lieutenant Jones? What's the meaning of this? Engage boy, the enemy. Dang. Those icons are a lie. But no man reach us. Looks like you're to meet the Reaper. How did the dog know? That poor dog, he did nothing wrong. Aha! Bringing fresh meat, eh? Come here. On your guard, men. Of course. Only say the word, and I'll cut them down. One moment, then. Me and you. Who's your officer? There's, this is the same mechanic from Brotherhood. Engage the enemy! But instead of assassins, we have redcoats. <laughs> Look at that guy squirm. All clear! Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery of Silas. Go on then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Oh, come on. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. So know when you're ready to strike. Down, please. Yoo Sleeping. Oops. Two. Couldn't do that one. Oh man, if I would have done that. Ow! Lame. Oh, 
Come to me. Does that count? Yeah, it counted. Who are you with? I don't follow. Lieutenant Wilkins? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Man named that. Who have we got then? What are you talking Stop about? Slouching, Prison. I said prisoners. The fancy looking guys can spot us. I wasn't aiming for you, but that's okay. Stay here, please. Please don't try to follow me. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity, not another war front. Okay. Two or three. Fancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that was. I just felt like that was necessary. That's everyone. An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? This guy has the desperate eyes. Push them back! Back the guards while you deal with shield. No, 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 Don't get up. For the order. This is the best part. Oh, crap. That's a lot of guns. Here. Stop the interloper! Benjamin! He's the one responsible! Glad to have you with him! I could use some help! Back! Vile box! Get that chain! The, the order oh, stands on. united! I'll deal with this wretch! He's the one responsible! Kill him! I'll fill it you like a cow! Kill the intruders! All of them! Such a quick work. On I'll fill it you like a cod. He's the one responsible. Kill. Just gonna make sure that we didn't fail anything. Yeah. Okay. Who are you? Name's Hayden Kenway. 
You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. One I intend to keep. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. Two sequences in a first episode. Getting it done. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active. Pursuing leads, however slight, he stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. Yeah, render that Boston in. Oh, it's cold. Charles, any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we begin our search. I'll meet you there. Hop on a horse. To Lexington we go. Watch out, don't make me run you over. I'll do it. My map is so sparse. Where's the synchronization point though? I'll, I'll promise I'll just just get this one I, I promise that's a terrible promise one that I will not keep I promise max three maximum three <laughs> the next one's right there <gasps> my goodness I like the little touch that the wings are closed as you approach it. Okay, okay, okay. We'll avoid that one. Oh, I meant 
Assassin Horse was introduced this game. Yeah, Assassin Horse. You also stand. Oh, no. No, Horsey! Come back! Watch out, lady. Watch out. Still don't ha have access to those Ubisoft club weapons. It may need to wait until we do a little bit of a character swap. I'll be honest, I don't know how like how reserved I have to be with the spoilers because I can understand that some people may not have played this game or watch a let's play of this game yet. But what's the statue of limitations here? What's 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 the statue of limitations on 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 spoilers for a game that came out like almost a decade ago? I don't even know. You guys, let me know. Expected Boston is a big city. At least we have a horse. And if we don't have a horse, we can steal a horse. Out of the way, guys. Out of the way. Out of the way. Oh, could we have fast travel to the front? I don't know. Spur horse. Oh no, trees. Nightmares of oh, Red Dead Redemption riding a horse into a tree. Some people stay on the main path. I am not one of those people. Take it all in, boys. Take that environment in. Land of the silver birch, home of the beaver. Where does the mighty moose wander at will? Blue lakes and rocky shores, I will return once more. Boom, titty, yada, boom, titty, yada, boom, boom, boom. Now there's a Canadian shanty. If you guys ever heard one. <laughs> That's pure Canada right there. <laughs> All right, we're off. Oh, you got a horse for me too. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming oh, we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. You were not going where I expected you to go. <laughs> We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close.
Bollocks. The tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Wolfies. Gotta be here somewhere. Wait here. I saved your life. Do you return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious? I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! Gotta find a way Charles to get woman, up. Only let me speak! Shot. <laughs> Gotta pick up the trail. Oh, I see it. I see it. Bad dogs. Okay, then. You try my patience, woman. distance to target I gotta protect myself from the wolves though are you touched in the head me hate them I come in peace why are you speaking so slow <sighs> sorry what do you want well, your name, for one. I'm Gudzi Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. Gud Gudzi. <laughs> Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Dio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. 
Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. So many emails to read once I leave the Animus. Blowing up my inbox. Uh, wait here. A Mohawk man is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. You can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in my eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldogs putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. We blending. We blending. Did I hear tell the French are ready to move on our positions? Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? Get up. Kick you in the nuts. Give me that Johnny Cage. Watch the kill these guys. No. Can't see. Pull in the way. Oh, come on. You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. Here. I should stop the bleeding. It wasn't necessary. Thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Oh, I'm always ready, baby. Where go? Where go? What do? I come. There is a bridge. Nice jump, horsey. Nice jump, man. I won't turn you to glue today.
Oh, come on, horse. I go for the shortcuts. Please don't be far. Please don't be far away. I'm trudging through the snow. thing is real oh I see enemies must be getting closer now there she is she beat me. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Don't kill any guards using a weapon. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. Get in. What's in the wagon? I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds pork, 10 pounds beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets to cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Wonder if there's a non cart way to do this. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Dude, really? There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Tell me you good news. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. And then it's on to Fort McCain, I assume. Eventually, 
The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. <laughs> that was George Washington. Please don't come in the bushes. Please don't come in the bushes. Like the quickest turn of life. So lucky. Oh no. Come on, dude. Back, no. back off. You don't see me. Okay, we're gonna get back to the cart. Get out of here. Don't land on the pikes, dude. <laughs> Shit, really? Uh... Oh, ho, ho, baby. Gone. And gone. Rabbit stew tonight, boys. What news? Radic has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush him here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. I am now incognito.
please be close by. Ugh. So far away. It's been a long ass trek, but we are finally back here. There was not a single horse along the entire way. <laughs> I had to walk it. I kept looking in like campsites for a horse. The game did not provide. That's all right. Magic of YouTube editing. Five months. What? In the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away. All right, I'm gonna have to kill all these soldiers because I need ammo. As stupid as that sounds. Oh, they keep lining up to die. Double assassination. So at the end, near the end of this mission, there's a whole thing where I need to shoot barrels. I need to shoot three of them, and I only have two bullets left. And there's not enough time to stop and get ammo. There you go. Give me ammo. Thank you. More than enough now. That was so dumb. Oh well, we got what we need. First it was too cold, now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? 
returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've undone it. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, or he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Kim, we await your signal. There, in front of us. So this one, you just have to kill two guys in the camp that aren't the target guys, which is fine. And then you can just go hamburger if you'd like. Kill them! What? Oh, it didn't count that as two guys? Really? That's stupid. Thing is, double assassinations were just were added to this game. They weren't originally part of Assassin's Creed 3. So I guess they must have not updated the code where assassinations where double assassination counts as two guys. There you go. It's kind of Kill ingenious them. if you actually think about it. Last one. There you go. <laughs> Do the hay. Man, how many times do I got to put on a right coat, dude? Nice. This time I have eight bullets instead of two bullets. Got what I need. We got some Scots here too. Look at these guys with their kilts.
have, sir. You mean, sir? You are grateful to have, sir. General! No workers comp here. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! <laughs> Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? Now we can get him. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Reload. Stand too close to the barrels. Oh, what the hell? I caught up to him. That was too fast for y'all. There you go. Three barrels. Get that reload. Okay, keep one down, my friend. We're gonna get ya. <laughs> too easy. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! You can't kill George Washington. I don't deserve this. <laughs> we'll abort it in your back. <clears throat> Why, Haytham? Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered. And for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. I really hope there was an objective of actually killing him a certain way. Farewell, Edward. It's done. upheld my part of the bargain, I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. One second here. Okay, good. <laughs> Just double checking. I know this wall. No. No. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more.
What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she has long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Not when we have the privacy of this cave, baby. few weeks later Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Master Kenway. Did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the sight eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles. Come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together. We will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father of Understanding guide us. Guide us. Guide us. Wait, Say what? what? The achievement is how do you like them apples? <laughs> it was such a mind fuck the first time we did this. We were just like, what? What just happened? You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? 
You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but it turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <clears throat> Don't you ever keep me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, that was unusual. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. Ah, Sean and Rebecca. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it for part one of Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Made the first episode super long just because, like I said at the very beginning of the video, Probably the biggest detriment to this game is that it has an extremely slow start, so we want to get cooking right away, get right into it, jump into the pond, no sense of dipping our feet, just go right after it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the first episode. As always, if you enjoyed, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. And other than that, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a fantastic day.